Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Pandora Fanatic. Um, back again with some pre-loved pieces that I've been picking up. Um, I have this beautiful um, dragonfly pendant um, that's actually been really hard to find, well at a reasonable cost anyway. Um, I came across this one only a week or two ago and um, it had a buy now price on a trading site that I go to and um, I offered 30% lower and they accepted and here it is, I have cleaned it um, it is absolutely you know, incredible um, it's pretty iconic, see it's got the gold Falling carrot gold eyes. The, just turn it around. I'm not sure where the hole marks are located on this one. I'll have to um, have to find out. But it is stunning. Just giving you a wee look and seeing if I can find the hole marks too while I'm here. I guess another owner will know where the hallmark is. Let's see. It's on. Oh. I gather there's a hallmark somewhere. Alrighty. I'll ask I'll ask somebody to tell me. Anyway, that is absolutely beautiful, even though I'm not sure where the hallmark is. Um, I put it on my beaded chain. This, the chain did not come with it. Um, it is one of the um, necklaces that Pandora did not sell a chain with. And although it was advertised with a chain on it, I knew that I wanted to add this one um, just because. I thought that was really pretty. I've seen other collectors' videos too while I'm mentioning it, um, and I've always admired it. Always admired it. So now I have one, and I'll pop it over. Pop it out of the way. Another piece that I bought that um, I found pretty interesting is um, the oxidized snake chain bracelet I have not seen these ones advertised very much there, are, there was one on another site the same site as the one with the um, uh, dragonfly I just bought but they wanted like um, more than double what I paid for this one and it's in good condition so yay another bracelet and I have another piece of gold and I definitely know where the um, hallmark is on that one Let's see I'll give you a good shot five five A L E. this one here is different to my others it's an older charm I've put it on here for safety reasons because it's such a small charm but I'll just show you. It is a threaded and let's take it off for a moment. It is a threaded. Let's give you a wee look see. Sorry about the blurring. Yeah, I'm very pleased. Uh, that's to go with my gold bracelet. I'm just going to stick it on here again. Like everybody with Pandora, I have a love-hate relationship with these. Sometimes they're really good because you don't have to add a clip on the end. Other times um, to hold your ones that aren't threaded on um, rather than having a clip. Other times they're just annoying because you've got to screw them off and on to make any changes. So is that one. What else did I find? I found this one and I'm also going to ask for some help 
because I think it's Pandora. It looks Pandora. Um, but the hallmark, I'll show you where the hallmark is. If someone else owns this and can tell me if that um, hallmark there adds up to the same as um, this one because um, I got this for very very cheap on Facebook however um, I just want to know for sure if it's um, proper Pandora or not I mean the stars match up with let's see I bought a few pieces out to sorry about the lighting um, to match up to show you the stars are much the same and star two so that's that one put that up here for now what else what next um, oh, I was going to share with you um, how one of my bracelets is going. Um, this one here. Um, I've just finished watching Pandora's video this morning um, when I got up. And um, I want to say that, you know, I admire her designs too. And this one here is um, taking a leaf out of her book. Um, because I liked liked characters. I'm not sure I can teach colours, but I think you're onto it already, Panda, when you say you do what makes your heart sing. Um, it it's kind of a feeling you feeling you get um, when you put something together, whether it's right or wrong for you. Um, everyone's different. Um, I've got to say too. So, what makes your heart sing? might not make my heart sing and you know you just don't know um, you just Pandora is trial and error and just they're never completely permanent but I find that some charms go better with others um, I have the Daisy, purple daisy charm here and the autumn leaf I've struggled finding a home for those ones actually. Um, purple Daisy. I put my little my little bird in here because I was trying to um, incorporate some characters for a change again. He's got little feet and tail. Very cute. I like these mini Muranos. Um, they're nice and petite uh, and easy to sneak into designs um, for just another little pop of colour. I think they kind of work like the petites, um, petite faucets and um, yeah for that they're just an, just easy to work with. Um, blue pansy and I've put my feather merino in there for now. Pretty cut. These are great in the respect that they've got multiple colours in them, so they tend to make a design just um, be coherent um, when you've got like blues, pinks and yellows to work with anyway. I'm seeing if I can help make sense of the colour um, or colours. I appreciate your compliment, Pandy, Panda. I just gotta say, uh, the one of the new roses. Um, I I do intend on getting a few more of them um, in future. At least another pink one anyway. Um, another another multicolor merino, feather merino. See, I've done repeats there, and <laughs> yeah, back on characters again. I have put my little frog in here. He's got some blue and green in him, um, which kind of complements my garden thing. So I've got a wee frog in my garden. Not in my throat today, thankfully. So 
so he's very cute very tiny too um, sometimes I see charms and I think oh wow that's so cool and I go pick it up and it's like minuscule and he is a tiny tiny charm you'll see him on my vid and you'll think oh he's quite a sizable charm but nope he's really tiny I mean that's the mini Murano and look how small he is and that's the blue pansy and how small he is he's just tiny teeny tiny but he can sneak into a design too and we've got the purple daisy another autumn leaf and a another purple daisy open work my chain I've put this on my new uh, magnetic bracelet um, something interesting about this is because like I do watch um, other people's bits here on YouTube um, particularly to do with Pandora and troll beads um, this bracelet isn't new um, I mean they had others um, in the past but I think this might be an updated version I'm not sure uh, when I saw it on um, my Pandora Charm Life I thought wow this has been around before so not sure where, what that's about but anyway um, so I kind of feel like the colour just flows um, is my way of putting it um, these newer ones I find I don't wear as much as the older ones I, I don't know why it could be to do with growing up with Sunday Beast um, I just grew up in um, that generation where we were a lot more conservative um, with how we how we use stuff um, but anyway I'm trying to get over that and I do wear I, do, I have worn this but not for long and just quickly before I finish to, I'll just show you where this is at um, I've got the black Muranos on this one and I was thinking about putting it on on the other bracelet but for now because I found the other bracelet to be too small um, I've just I don't know I find I do, I, sometimes I find I want to wear my bracelets looser other times I want to wear them tighter um, but yeah if, with the gold I wanted to be especially careful not to have them rubbing against each other so I, want, I was mindful to give them room Sorry about the blurring. So, and I, at the moment I am using those spaces that aren't Pandora, I must say. But amazing black Murano. Um, I'm not sure the name of that one. Anyway, it's a old Peridot Club. It's my heart charm I love that I love this one sorry about my phone it's going berserk in the background I don't know what that is I'm going to leave it gilded cage radiant star see I like how they um, how those patterns play off each other that other heart's going to go on here of course um, too I've got this one another spacer that I don't think is Pandora and so I've got the blurring uh, pink sapphire clip because I couldn't find complete matches but they do match with different stones um, the black one regal crown this one's gorgeous uh, the hallmark on that's pretty easy to find just beautiful and same with this one it's beautiful too I like how they've done those hallmarks you have a heart of gold Family Tree of Life uh, Tunnel of Love I think and the two tone Alright one more thing to address before I go um, some people may be watching my channel thinking oh my god how does she afford all that um, the thing is I have a tendency to wait around for sales um, I also have a tendency to look at pre-loved 
um, and find bargains that way too. Um, I buy very, very few new releases um, if I can help it. Unless I really love something, I leave it for later. Like like these, I mean, the price of them new, um, I wouldn't pay. Um, just because it's just too much. Um, but half price, it's manageable. Manageable. It's not cheap, but it's still manageable. Um, but yeah, a lot of these are reduced prices. They are um, pre-loved um, or reduced cost, like the black one. Um, yeah, so I'm a, I'm a, I'm, I'm pretty thrifty when it comes to these um, bits and pieces. So don't be looking at them thinking, oh, she paid what the catalog price was. Um, I didn't, but yeah, on the last note, I'll bring this in again and say like if you like. Uh, subscribe if you want to you're welcome here at my channel um, yeah thanks for watching I appreciate you um, coming to have a wee look see at my collection and have a great day and uh, thanks for the mention panda uh, see you in the next one bye